All right, Carl, you got a copy there, buddy. I'm here. Excellent. Uh, looks like most of the uh, registrants are already on, so uh, let's kick things off, get started. Welcome, everybody. I'm going to talk Beretta handguns. Uh, if you had a chance to join in in any of the prior sessions with Carl, he does a great job going through the technical side. And, you know, one of the things that's exciting right now is if we were sitting down at Rice Creek last weekend and kicking things off, the line would have been coming out of the back of the Beretta tent to shoot handguns, not shotguns. And, and that's new. That's exciting. So um, I think it's important, uh, Carl, as we just kind of introduce the, the handguns is, you know, maybe I just give a little background on what's going on out there. I mean, there's no, there's no uh, surprise to anybody given the, the dire circumstances, the pandemic, everything that, you know, handguns are hot. And that's not why we're pushing it. We're, we're, we're pushing it because this is an initiative that Breda wants to see and has really made some huge innovation the past few years. I mean, it, it's, it's uncommon. And if you had the gun fair flyer in handy, you know, in hand, you'd see that, you know, right, right across it is featured handguns. And that's kind of exciting. I mean, I know Todd's got some of the old legends like Tom, Tom Katz and some of the Bobcats and some of the, the old school Berettas talk about, but um, tell us wh where, where is an industry and, and, and where is a brand uh, Breda sees this handgun market and especially the 92X, how that all fits together before we even get into the guns. Uh, you know, so just as a as kind of background, if nothing else, uh, welcome everybody. And Carl, just jump in, take it away. Sounds good. Welcome everybody. Thanks for joining us this evening. Um, you know, the hand market, as I'm sure a lot of us are aware right now, is is very busy. Um, there's there's a big push within the industry. Everybody's selling everybody's selling a lot of guns. Um, you know whether or not this market that we're in now is going to continue. None of us really know. Um, you know it's it's a political. We're we're in. We're, we've got a couple of factors working right now. Uh, one is the the COVID, which we're all going through, and which none of us really know what to expect or or how things are going to go. So there's uncertainty there. Um, and anytime there's uncertainty within the market, um, you know, people are, people rush out to buy home defense handguns. Um, and then the other thing that's working uh, to, to propel the market right now is that we're in an election year. Anytime that we're in an election year, um, there's gonna be an increase in demand in tactical home defense shotguns, handguns, um, any type of home defense uh, weapons. So, you know, those, the confluence of those two things right now is, is really propelling the market. And uh, luckily for Beretta, within that marketplace, uh, we already had a pistol focus in mind for both last year and this year, to be honest with you. Uh, we've introduced some new product lines, the APX line within our striker fire guns, and then the 92X series, which we'll, we'll get into here. I'm sure Todd and I will talk about um, so we as a company obviously realize that, you know, we, we have our shotgun line, we have our handgun line, uh, but right now for us, handguns are a particular focus, and it just so happens that it's during a time when, when there is a real high demand within the marketplace for that product, so... Anyway, that's that's a little bit about where we stand right now. Right on. And, and so, Carl, uh, one thing, and I forgot to mention this um, before you guys kind of talk through some of the features that we had teed up for the gun fair. I mean, this is a, this is wonderful. We can all communicate this way. Obviously, you're at home and, and we're in uh, self-quarantine at the shop, unfortunately or not. Um, but so, you know, albeit being informal, this is a, the best way we can get hands on like with the gun fair. So I think one of the things that we'd like to do is, given that background, um, you know, I just want everybody to know just some of the parameters of it for those of you that are unfamiliar with the Zoom format. We've, we've got basically all the attendees on mute. And so I do, and we do welcome you to chat and you can just at the bottom of your screen there, you can chat in a question and, and we'll kind of moderate and, and pick those off as we can. If we can't get to all of them by the end of the, the show here, the session, uh, we will follow up with you. And so don't hesitate to use the opportunity to you know, throw something out that you would normally ask, or you'd be asking Carl if you're standing in the, in the booth, in the Breda booth there at, at the gun fair or in the shop. Um, but, but also, if there's anything you have questions of after the fact, don't hesitate to call us. Uh, you know, the best way to, to talk through any of these things, and there's, of course, the, the gun fair deals that we'd normally all be enjoying um, and, and being appreciate with the factory support and everybody's support here. Um, we can only really do those over the phone. Give us a call and, and uh, we apologize. We can't put it all together this year due to the pandemic, but uh, it will be bigger and better next year. But do call us 800-346-0019 or get on our website and fish around a little bit. You won't see that hot deal pricing, gun fair pricing on the website. 
as we're talking about 92X and everything else. Um, so we'll, we'll anchor it that way. And one question that's already come up as to coming across is the gun fair deals are good through the end of the month. So even though the gun fair was gonna, would have finished up yesterday, we're just running through with, with Carl's help and, and, and everybody's help. We're going to run through the 30th. So have some time, do some research, give us a call. We'll kind of talk through things. And yes, there's always the specials that run at the gun fair. We'll take care of it that way. So uh, without further ado, I think we should jump in and kind of kick things off. Thanks to the background, Carl. Um, I know, Todd, you had some things picked out and want to make sure you covered the essentials of it. But of course, we'll get into the, the nuts and bolts of the product as well. So Todd, welcome. Jump on in. Hey, Carl. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Todd. How are you? I'm really, really good. You know, the Two unique pistols, I think, that are super cool, your Tomcat and your Bobcat. And these guns have been, you know, hard to get for years. We finally have some inventory. We've got six or eight or ten of each right now. So let's show everybody these. Because I don't people, you know, I don't think people have got, there's, they haven't got their hands on these for years just because they've been so hard to get. So they're kind of a unique handgun. And we've got both of them in stock, fortunately, right now. Let's run through those real quick. Absolutely. Yeah, the, both the, the Tomcat and the Bobcat, the Bobcat being our, our 22, um, and then the Tomcat is a 32. Uh, both these are, are small frame handguns. So uh, starting with the Bobcat, the Bobcat is an 11 and a half ounce, highly, con it's, it's ultra concealable design. So it's, it's very small. Uh, it can be concealed, you know, anywhere, pocket, purse, what have you, um, it's got very snag free lines on it. So it allows you to conceal without, you know, if, if you have the need to take it out, uh, it's designed to not have to snag anywhere. Uh, the one of the coolest design features uh, with both of these small frame handguns, and I'm sure Todd will show it, and we'll demonstrate it for you here, is the fact that it has a tip up barrel. So you can actually release that barrel up and they'll show it to you here in front of the camera. That barrel actually tips up. This allows you to do a couple of things. One, it allows you to load your initial round into the gun without having to ever work the slide. So, you know, if you're like a lot of people, you don't like having to really pull with that slide. Uh, it allows you to load your initial round right into that tip up barrel, drop your barrel down, put your mag in, and you're all set to go. It also easily allows you to, to check, uh, it, it, you can ch check directly into the chamber. So it's for safe clearing for your gun, it allows you to easily, easily access to, uh, easy access to the bore, excuse me. So you can check and see if there's a round in the gun and obviously it's, it's much safer that way. So it also has, both these guns have our, our open frame design, and you'll see these later when we talk about 92s, but the top of the frame is actually open where the barrel is. And what this does is it helps to prevent any kind of stove piping or jamming within the gun. So as that slide is operating, you're not getting rounds jammed up because that slide is open at the top here for those rounds to extract. Uh, the, the, the guns are also both Corrosion resistant and they're extremely durable. When you feel that little gun, it's it's got heft in your hand, and that's because the uh, they're they're actually the slide is from one piece of steel and the frame is from one piece of aluminum. So I mean it's an extremely well built and strong handgun. But that tip up barrel really is the feature that has given both of these guns the amount of staying power that they have because it is such a unique feature on those two guns and it really is handy to have. Yeah. That it is, all right. Next. And, and Todd's absolutely right. Those, those guns we've had within Beretta as a company for quite a while. However, they've gone in and out of production over the course of the years. So there have been times when we didn't have those guns available, even though they technically were not a discontinued item within Beretta as a company. Um, but right now we're very fortunate in that they have been in production and Reeds has, has inventory in these guns. So it's something that right now is available, but may, you know, in, in the future may not be again. And it's, it's a good time right now. So. Hey, uh, Carl, I had a good follow-up question on a chat here to that Bobcat. And I know we were going to talk about Bobcats yet, but the 22 Bobcat, 
Uh, the question came across, can you dry fire that? Yes. Okay, there you go. Thank you. All right, next in the concealed carry market, let's hit on your nano. So I know one, let's talk about one complaint that we do get is that no slide release. So touch on that for the, for the watchers and viewers too, please. On the concept so this of is common feedback that we hear on the nano. Um, it's probably the most common feedback that we hear on the nano. The thinking when the nano was designed was that it was designed to be completely snag free. So there's no external safety on the gun. There's no external slide release. Even the mag release is fairly flush with the gun. And the thinking behind that is basically when you conceal it, there is literally nothing on the outside of that gun that you can snag it on if you have to remove the gun. So it's totally snag free. When you put your magazine in or you load your initial round, once that round is in, there is no slide release. So if the gun is empty, there's no, mag there's no round in the chamber, there's no round in the magazine. If you pull that slide back, it's gonna lock into place. Well, to release the slide, you basically have to drop the magazine and then pull the slide back. Well, if you load your initial round and you have your magazine in, the gun will just continue to feed additional rounds until it's empty. So there's a reason for not having an external, an external slide release on that gun. It's so that it's designed to be so concealable and easy to carry. Great explanation. Cause I mean, I love it because it's like you said, it's so it's smooth on the sides. There's nothing to catch on anything. So it's a great, great idea. It's, it's just Absolutely. that's one of the great features with that gun. Right. It comes with both a six round and a six round flush and an eight round extended magazine in the box. So it comes with two magazines. It's got adjustable sights that require no gunsmithing, which is a fantastic feature on that gun. Uh, it has a serialized sub chassis. So if you want to change out the frame on the gun, if you you know want to change the frame color, what have you, if you want to go with F. DE, you can change out. It's very easy to do. You can pull out that serialized sub chassis and change your frames. And really, the uh, I guess one more feature would be that it, the, the mag release on that gun is reversible. So for you lefties out there, if you choose to reverse it, you can. But really, the ergonomics and the size of that gun are what really makes it stand out. It's incredibly concealable, and it's, it's a phenomenal gun. Hey, Carl, follow up question on the nano. You're talking about the chassis being able to change out the color tones. Is, are, are those on hand at Beretta? If you want to put FTE or the Robin's egg, bring those other colors in? They are, yes. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank you. There's the answer. All right, next, let's move to the 92 series, which the whole world is excited over as we all are. So I guess the big thing, you know, the X series is Beretta's new, you know, staple in the handgun world, and it's going, you know, great guns, per se. So let's talk about, I mean, everybody, we get asked every day, the difference between the 92 and the 92X and all the different features and everything. So the whole world, you know, like I said, we, I know we get three to five emails a day asking all the differences in the two guns. So I know this will take some time, but let's walk through all of that for everybody so they all know where we're at. Sure. Yeah, no problem. So the, as Todd said, the 92 is a gun that is almost synonymous with Beretta. You've seen it in the movies. You've seen it being carried by law enforcement and military personnel. Um, you know, you, you can almost not have not seen this gun. It's been in the Beretta lineup now. It's some version of this gun has been in the Beretta family for, for 30 plus years. So the gun really has staying power. Um, and we've just recently introduced a, a relatively new lineup within the 92 family that's called the 92X. And let's go ahead and look at some of the big differences you're going to see within that 92X versus some of the 92s that you're used to. Um, the biggest difference that you're going to find is going to be what we, what Beretta calls this Vertec frame, which is this straight, it's this straight style, almost 1911 style, if you will, frame. So it's got that straight frame versus the old style, which... I've got one right here. You can see it's more ergonomic. This one has that straight frame design, which we call Vertec. And it's got, it's actually a thinner profile and it's straighter. So it's gonna feel 
a lot less chunky in your hand with that Vertec frame. It's got more aggressive checkering on both the frame here and on the grips. So it's got some pretty aggressive checkering. And another thing that's pretty cool about this gun, you know, a lot of people have do prefer this Vertec frame, but if you're one of the one of the old school guys who prefers that ergonomic feel, it actually comes with an additional set of grips inside the box right here that you can put on very easily, just remove the grip screws, and it will give it that the feel of that ergonomic frame. So you can actually change between the two with the gun, and that's included in the box. And we can just kind of go over here. Um, I can kind of show you some of the features of this gun. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it apart. So I'm gonna drop out my mag. And by the way, on this gun, the mag release, and I'm sorry, I know some of the smaller details again on here are tough to see. So I apologize for that, but we're gonna do the best we can. I'll try to get it in the light here. But the mag release is actually, is actually extended on this. So it's larger for your hand, which is really nice. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this apart. I'm gonna put my, push my slide, push my slide uh, button down here and release. And then I'll go ahead and pull my guide rod, my barrel. So again, this has got, and this is kind of a nice way to show it here. It's got our open slide design. So you're looking at the top of the, of the top of the slide right here. And that's literally right where the barrel slides into. So that open, open slide design, again, prevents against stove piping and jamming as those spent cartridges come out. Um, the sights are updated. So these sights are actually replaceable now versus the old style 92s where they were fixed. And again, tough to see, I know, I'm sorry, but the front sight is actually a combat front sight. So it's, it's bright orange, essentially, uh, on the front sight. And again, it's a dovetail sight. So that was a big upgrade. Um, again, this gun, let's see here. Let's go ahead and put it back together so we can showcase it for you. You know, Carl, as you're doing this, you're doing such a nice job. We might have to get you some better lighting if you keep working on your home office for any, any period of time longer. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I, Hopefully, you know, you can kind of get the gist here as I'm going through it. I know it's a little tough to see. I apologize. No, no, right on, man. We're doing our best with, with everything. So thanks for putting it together. It's, it's good. The Absolutely. Well, thank you for having me. Um, another feature, it, the magwell on this gun is beveled, which makes it easier for loading and unloading your magazine. Um, that's a big feature. And then this gun, on a lot of our 90, and you'll be familiar with this from our standard 92s as well, if you're familiar with them, but they have a safety decocker on them. So if I'm actually in battery, the safety's off right now. And if I'm in battery, ready to fire, I can go ahead and put my safety on and you'll see this hammer decock. And there's actually a, a firing pin block that's gonna come up. So it'll go on to safety without, without discharging your round. So it's got a safety decocker on it. And for those of you that prefer a G model or a decock only, it's actually, this gun is convertible. So you can convert from safety decock to decock only, which is another really nice feature with this gun. Um, they also have your tactical rail up front here for any of your mounting options. So that you can mount, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever you choose on on the front there, whether it's a dot or or a flashlight or or whatever. So, some of the the real strong features about this gun, it's it's a nice update to the '92 family. Uh, Carl, a question just came across on where its origin is. So, where where are they made these days? The '92X. So the '92Xs actually are U.S. made. So we have within the past few years have ramped up our production facility within the U.S. here. Uh, it's just outside of Nashville, Tennessee, a little town called Gallatin. Um, and more and more now with a lot of the new product lines that we're going to be introducing going forward, handguns in particular, because the U.S. 
market is obviously, you know, one of the strongest handgun markets in the world. A lot of our, in particular, handguns going forward will be made here in the U.S. Uh, that's great. That's great to hear. And, and so I would su suspect then supply chain concerns aren't quite what they are with some of the other models or other brands. So you got better control. I assume, you know, the, the interruptions would be fairly limited with the pandemic going on, eh? Thank you, Adam. Yes, you're absolutely right. That's, you know, that's a huge benefit to being able to manufacture here is that, you know, any kind of customs concerns, importing concerns coming from our firearms coming from our factories in Italy um, are essentially wiped out. We have a lot more control over production um, by virtue of the fact that we are a government contractor, we supply guns for the, for the military, We've been allowed to continue to manufacture during uh, during the COVID quarantine. Um, thankfully, uh, we haven't had any issues arise as far as anybody at, at our facilities getting sick or anything. So we've been in continuous production, and uh, we haven't had any type of issues as far as uh, interruptions there. So that's a huge advantage as far as being able to manufacture in the U.S. No problem. Perfect. All right. Good explanation on that. Another thing that Carl, we get hit on all the time is the different versions of the guns. For example, you got the 92 FS, you got a ones, you got a threes. That's our number two question asked all the time is what's the difference in all those different models and the variations of that. So if you can explain to viewers what all that would be, is, that would be great. Sure. Yeah. Um, so the biggest difference that you're going to find, let, let's address, the A1 first. The biggest difference that you'll find as far as the A1 goes, that's gonna be your tactical front rail. Basically what that A1 signifies is that you've got that front rail. Um, so we had, when the 96 series, which was the 40 caliber was still in production, we had a 96 A1, there's the 92 A1. 96 A1 would be a 40 caliber with the utility rail. 92 A1 is the nine millimeter with the utility rail. Um, another, another version of the gun that we have, we can talk about is the M9A3. Um, and that's one that, that I know Todd's going to want to touch on here because it's one that Reeds is actually running a promotion on, uh, during this event. And some of the advantages of that M9A3, first of all, it comes in a cool container like this comes in your cartridge container comes with three sand resistant magazines, three sand resistant 17 round mags in the box. It again has that Vertec frame, so that straight style frame on it. It's got that same safety decocker system. It actually has the Trigicon night sights, which are a huge upgrade, phenomenal upgrade to this gun. Uh, it has threaded barrel. So that, that, was the big, that was the big ask when we developed this gun. And by the way, on any of the 92X uh, series family of guns, we offer threaded barrels for those as well. So you can get threaded barrels for that gun in addition to this M9A3 coming standard out of the box with that threaded barrel. Uh, it has the aggressive checkering, the Vertec frame, the, the Picatinny rail, and the threaded barrel, as well as those Trigicon night sights. This gun, the M9A3, also comes with, even though it has a textile straight frame, it comes with the ergonomic grips in the box as well, if you want to change that, that grip profile on your gun. So you can do either, uh, either grip profile that you prefer. Hey, Carl, that's perfect timing. Uh, Scott uh, had just sent in a question going through that M983. So I think that should have nailed it. Scott, if you have any follow-up uh, questions on it, just shoot it back in another chat. But I think that hits the nuances of it really well. Thanks for going through. That's perfect timing. Just a note to you guys, we have tremendous pricing on these. We've got up to $200 off on some bread of handguns. So great deals that we would have, of course, had at the gun fair. Now we're pushing them on through here, through the website. How do we buy those, Todd? Are they on call the website? Us. You the call. fastest for Breda is to give us a call. 1-800-346-0019. Hey guys, standing by, waiting for your call right now. Call Sorry. tomorrow. Sorry, I couldn't resist. But, but, but in all seriousness, 
um, a lot of these, a lot of the deals that we that we are, are used to at the gun fair, it's not something that's going to be out in a publication anywhere. It's not something that's going to be on the website. Um, website uh, readsports.com is always good to kind of get the background on it. But the best way to make sure you're getting the best deals always just give us a call. Our guys are ready to roll tonight, or otherwise give us a shout in the morning. If you do want to follow up, shoot us a chat. We can give you a call tomorrow as well. So best way to do it to kind of incorporate all the best deals that are out there. I don't know, if, Carl. I don't know if you have. We, you know, the APX is selling so great. We are completely 100% sold out. So I'm, I'm assuming you should probably touch on that. Give the viewers a quick rundown on that. But it's a great gun. But we, you know, it's a gun that sells for through what's $329 map. Crazy great price on a really, really good gun. And we have sold through 100% of them. Sold the last one today. But you can take orders on, so right? We are taking orders, and we will get more. Yes. But I'm sure they'd want to hear your spiel on that too. It would be great. So for those of you that aren't familiar with the APX, the APX is our current family of striker fire handguns. Um, Todd is right. We just went through a price reduction. So what we did was we were able to fine tune our production process. Through that fine tuning, we were able to decrease our pricing on it. We, we increased capacity and decreased pricing. So we were able to go through a price reduction on, on that gun, which has in turn created a spike in demand for it, just at the same time that spike in, a spike in demand for handguns in general has happened. Um, you know, it's, we're going to see a, a, an upgrade or, or a next generation of that APX gun. So uh, the current family, I know, you know, we have, some some issues as far as the demand meeting the demand because it's gotten so high um, but look for what's happening with that apx family because there's going to be some refreshments to that line that are made and uh it's a phenomenal family of guns so it's really it's really taken off for us and it's a gun that we're committed to at this point so um yeah we're, we're gonna try to <laughs> get read some more inventory to uh to keep you guys in in stock in the apx and uh keep an eye on that family because it's a great gun right on carl i was i was teasing because we got it right in the flyer right there that's apx front and center so i know that we have a gun fair price on it i know we can honor it we just might have to be patient for anybody that wants one to, to really get uh, in in their hands so thanks for getting us the help to get them um you know as far as anything else Todd, anything else you want to cover i just want to clarify one thing in the mailer that pretty much covers everything we're going to talk about right on so as covid 19 and murphy's law comes into play we of course had this mailer go out just as everything was starting getting corrected in the marketplace and shut down so there's a couple questions we were getting calls on and and, and i just want to cover them for everybody's benefit uh, across the top here uh, it does say 10 percent off ammo 20 percent off a 300 outlanders and 30 percent off case and accessories so uh, one thing that we want to do is make sure that everybody knows we're going to guarantee the best gun fair price, just like you would have got at the gun fair. We are shipping for free to your local FFL. So as soon as we get to May 4th, we expect to be up and rolling, or actually now May 1st, we expect to be open uh, on our storefront, but we'll ship for free to any, lo uh, any local FFL of yours in the lower 48. So we can take care of that anytime right now, lock up that gun fair deal up down through the 30th. And also, uh, when you make that purchase as a gun fair purchase, it's going to save you get the gun fair price. You'll get 10% off on ammo. You get 30% off any gun case, rug, pistol rugs, or accessories that go along with it. And then we are doing on uh, the selected uh, A300 Outlanders a 20% off as a bonus gun as well. So you buy the first one, get that second one 20% off. Um, and we work through those details as well. Uh, there's a couple of specific configurations we can do that on. Um, so, you know, at the end of the day, we're all doing our best to sort through this. We'd love to uh, have Carl uh, do another session here. Um, you know, we can open this up for questions real quick. I know there's a couple other chats that may we may have time to address, but I'm gonna unmute everybody real quick and see if anybody has any questions or comments for Carl directly. So just bear with your backgrounds, uh, be careful. So uh, we've got everybody on open right now. Ryan Pels, I see you're on, welcome. Uh, any uh, questions or anybody else any questions you wanna uh, throw out there? I love you too, buddy. So I hope you take this moment right now. Um, Ryan actually just sent over his, his uh, question as chat. So um, he was asking if we had a flyer price, the Bobcat. We don't have any print of the flyer, but we definitely have one on the gun fair um, price. So Ryan, just uh, you want to give us a call or we can give you a shout tomorrow. We'll pin that down. Let's get that pinned down because it wasn't featured in there necessarily, but we've got a gun fair price that we would have been doing there as well. So um, I think, Carl, you have anything else? Otherwise, we're kind of bumping up on our time window here. 
I just want to say thank you to everybody for coming out tonight. I really appreciate your time. Yeah, right on. And, and thanks, Carl, for being a great partner, especially featuring this handguns. Right now is timely and good, and I hope we get you back here. Uh, if not, uh, do remember, everybody, these will be out on readsports.com's VIP page as a YouTube. So, if there, you know, there's a lot of good detail that Carl covered on those that you can re, you know, replay on YouTube. Um, and, of course, if you liked what you saw, throw us a review or throw us a thumbs up on Facebook, and we'll keep things rolling along. Uh, this is week two of three weeks of Zoom sessions for the gun fair. So uh, do jump back on the website, uh, sign up for any other sessions that are coming through the uh, rest of the week. And then there's going to be some more next week announced and rolling out as well. So uh, thanks, everybody, doing our best, being safe. Uh, Todd, thanks for making the time. Right. Carl, Thank give you, us a call. Everybody. And uh, we hope, look forward to seeing you at a future Zoom session and in the store. Take care. Right. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Have a good night.